We talk a lot about what's called the knowing-doing gap. And that's the idea that there are many, many good ideas that have been proven to work in academic research that can make a big difference, but they don't get implemented. We're not doing them. Understanding why that happens and what to do about it is itself a tremendously important research opportunity. Every company I work with, whether it's manufacturing, services, software, high-tech, finance, doesn't matter, they all have this problem. There are great ideas out there that can speed process improvement, that can help them create better services and products, that can uh, help them become more sustainable, and they're just not getting done or not getting done as fast as they need to be. And so a big focus in our work is understanding how we can help those organizations close that gap between great ideas, high leverage policies that can make a big difference, increase their market share and growth, uh, lower their costs, reduce their risks, help them become more sustainable, improve the quality of the working environment for all their people. How do you get that done in a way that sticks? One of our alums uh, works in the pharma industry and uh, he took the tools and simulations that we've developed here around climate uh, into his organization and the methods that we've developed to get things to happen and uh, created a project for one particular plant in the system to reduce their carbon emissions. And this is an imperative. The company has a target for zero net emissions by mid-century as most large corporations do today. But they were behind and they didn't have a good plan or a roadmap for how to actually do it. And anytime somebody had proposed something at the senior corporate level, it would be resisted at the operating unit on the ground level in the plants. So he took those tools and went into a plant he knew very well and started with the frontline folks who would need to be involved in implementation. And he asked them, what do you need? Why, what do you think is important about reducing carbon emissions? How do you think we can do it? Turns out they had lots of ideas. They had a tremendous list of opportunities to reduce the emissions from this plant, uh, but they didn't have any resources to get it done. They didn't have any support. And what he did was basically help their ideas get that support, get the resources, come up with ways to monitor their progress, ways to look for quick wins that could mitigate the trade-off you often face between short-run investment and the payoff. And it's been very, very successful. And then it spreads to other parts of the company because people see, hey, that worked here, let's try it over here.